السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ شبہات کا ازالہ پیج کو سبسکرائب کریں اور بیل آئیکن دبائیں سب سے پہلے ویڈیو دیکھنے کے لیے بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دا ایول پلاٹ ٹو ڈسٹروائے نظام الدین مرکز اے ڈیٹیلڈ ایکسپلینیشن آف دا عالمی شوراز پلاٹ ٹو ڈسٹروائے نظام الدین مرکز پارٹ 1 پریفیس Taken from the Urdu Qist of Maulana Mehboob Damad Barkatahu, we are publishing a series of futures regarding the current crisis that have engulfed the Tablighi Jamaat. The series will feature the following. Part 1. The plot to destroy Nizamuddin Markaz. Part 2. The failure of the Alami Shura. Part 3. The rejection of the Alami Shura in the light of Quran and Sunnah. Part 4 The Role of Deoban in Helping the Alami Shura Plus Many More Features Part 1 The Plot to Destroy Nizamuddin Markaz Note We have tried our best to make the translation as close as possible. Advices of our elders Miyaji Abdurrahman Sahab was sitting with the ulama who were in the path of Allah for one year, giving Rawangi talk, that's procedure of spending time in the path of Allah, and was saying, this effort encompasses rapid progress, very quickly a person can become accepted and famous, people begin to tell his stories and sing his praises, people begin to present him offerings and gifts. Despite his progress, if he continues to maintain love, obedience and connection with the Marcus and people of Marcus, then he continues to benefit from their water and remains fresh and active. The example of the people of Marcus and the elders who are there are like a person flying a kite. Your example is of the kite. If the kite, that's you or person, reaches such a height where it begins to become pushy and heedless that's uncontrollable, deciding to sever its connection to the person that's Marcus below, then there can be no doubt in its imminent destruction. Where will it go and get stranded, there will be no guarantee for its safety. Similarly, there is the Marcus Nizamuddin and its responsible people. They are utilizing you for demands, taqazas of da'wah, to the extent that you will reach the lofty sky, you will become famous, there will be a fuss over you, people will run to handshake you, at that time this markers and the people there will look small and inferior to you, just like the person holding the kite would seem small to the kite, then the reverence you will have to them will not be the same as you once had. Then soon this reverence will decrease slowly and slowly until the theory will occupy your mind that they are people and we are people. So you will consider them to be just one stage above you. Then you will consider them to be the same as you. Then soon you will consider yourself above and them below. This is the sequence of decline. Because your nafs will tell you that you have a name. My CDs are selling. People are fussing over me on social media. Then if the people of Marcus reprimed you, nurture you for your further progress, you will turn against them in severe dislike. Further, you will resort to open hatred and reach a disconnection with Marcus and its people. You will begin to search their faults. Then know that the decision for your destruction has been made. Nobody is there to change this decision. There were 37 of us present in 1978. We had made a promise in front of Miyaji. Inshallah, we will protect and preserve the reverence of Marcus and the people of Marcus. I also remember in 1985 when I was being sent to England, Qazi Abdul Wahab Sahab kept repeating, You will do an amazing job. For years I would think, they Allah's true friend speak something directly. Through him, what will that job be? Yet when the Alami Shura Fitna arose and the situation began to worsen, I remembered and realized, first the promise made in front of Miyaji Abdul Rahman Sahab, Second, those words of Qazi Abdul Wahab Sahab. I soon understood them both. I turned to Allah. 
How can this work be accomplished? I saw in my dream that nothing is greater than a pen. I tried to write, but for many days I couldn't understand how and what to write. Due to an incident that occurred, I chose the word qist that means episodes and began writing these qists. I have been tested severely, threatening phone calls and messages. Being sworn at, I have been stretched and tested in many ways. Despite this, I continuously made dua for these people. A huge alim of India called, messaged me. One of my relatives sent me your qist. I read it. I was a staunch alami shura guy. I began to try to rip apart. That is, prove it wrong, your qist. It took me hours trying to shred it one word at a time. Finally, my conscience spoke out. To deny the truth is a sign of hypocrisy. I changed my ways and decided, I will ensure these qits reach the ulama of India and take everyone to Markaz Nizamuddin. Similarly, numerous walis of Allah gave me courage. May Allah accept them. Writing this mini autobiography is asked to express Allah's blessing upon me. For anyone to use as propaganda for other reason is incorrect. We have written hundreds of qis. No idea who, who, where, where people are reading them. They are written as trust. A hundred percent effort is made to ensure facts, sources and references are correct and accurate. Simplest of Urdu is chosen. I have no enmity against anyone. Everyone is our own companion.